How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs Help Channel and when you're looking to install something like coax, phone line, or even ethernet, you actually do not need to use the same junction boxes as your high voltage 120 volt circuits in your home. It's a quick and easy DIY installation using one of these low voltage brackets. And these brackets have four positioning holes which you can use and then those are spaced exactly correctly so when you cut out the back it is going to be exactly the right size. Those holes are a bit small, so I'll enlarge those so I can use them to mark on the wall where I want it. And after enlarging the holes, I'll mark 3 eighths of an inch lower than the top of that face plate. This is going to give me a reference for this low voltage bracket, so I can mark those four holes. Once I have the four holes, then I can just connect the dots, marking all the sides that I need to cut out. Now you could use an oscillating tool with pretty much any blade, or you can use something like this jab saw. For a small job like this, I kind of like the jab saw. I take my time. I know I have the coax cable pushed up into that wall cavity, so I'm making sure I don't go crazy where I could damage that coax cable. And I'll cut out this last side and pull that piece of drywall out and then grab my coax cable if everything's good. Then we'll go ahead and mount these just like an old work electrical box. We'll have two mounting screws. You'll twist those and tighten up the tabs on the back of the drywall to secure everything in place. Now for you guys as reference, right below the video in the description, you'll see links to any of the parts or tools we use. And also you can add any questions in the comments that I might be able to help you out on. Now before taking off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That really helps us grow and reach more homeowners to help them out with their DIY projects. If you want to see this complete install where we took the cable coming out of the actual floor and we put that inside the wall cavity, check out this video right here. I'll walk you through the complete process. So thanks for joining us on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.